We're here! Hello, hello! <clears throat> and my voice is still rough. We are back! It's time for Baldur's Gate! We had left yesterday on the verge of fighting the goblin camp. Which makes me think that it might have been entirely wasted to just use a tadpole to convince them not to attack me. Listen, I didn't know any better. <laughs> I had no idea that the tadpole could only be used once per long rest as well. But that makes sense. But if I don't get rid of them, they'll attack the... Um, the druid's camp, and we can't have that. It's time for a sneak attack! Is he alone? I think he might be. Alright, so there's a guy right here. Jeez, the map is still loading. We've got some floating nests and baskets and whatnot. Alright, well... I don't think I have to worry too much about this guy over there. He's kind of far away. Okay. Asterion, you know what to do. This is what you're best at. Go on, buddy. Uh... Hide? And... Can I get close enough? That's the real question. Alright, let's go! Ooh, almost one shot! That is strong, and I get a... Um... Uh, 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 an opportunity round, it looks like. He's surprised. Uh, he's not gonna opportunity attack me, it looks like, so I'll be fine. I won't give in. Fire time! Nice. And everyone else is none the wiser. Bugbears are so scary too, so this is a really good pickup for me. Gonna go through the camp all sneaky like. It's Heidi time. Alright, so there's a guy over there. We take him out. The first time I fought these guys, he was a real pain. Okay. Sneak attack. Nice. Okay, well, we're engaged now for sure. Can we get everyone else involved? Okay, so that's how I can make them join the battle. All right. That makes a bit more sense now. Can I move her at all? It looks like not. And everyone else saw it, but at least I have the... Oh, they do have the high ground. Well, I have some cover. Let's see if they can reach me from here. Sne oh, there are some on the roof? Oh, oh. Okay, well, these guys need to join the fight. Sight out of mind. 
So we're gonna go over here. And firebolt. Can't fire through the roof, it looks like. <laughs> So what do I do? Do I get this too far? Can I do distance spell? I don't think 9 meters is gonna cut it, is it? Oh, it is! Wow. Should I really be spending my last meta uh, sorcery point for that? Uh, I think not. Alright, you just hide here for now. Your time will come. And... Okay, who else? What a charmer. She's gonna need to be melee. I'm gonna bring her over here. Uh... I don't understand what's going on. Why is it that all my characters, like both of my, these characters, can act as much as they want while everyone else is in turn-based mode? This seems a bit weird. Well, I guess that gives me the chance to get out there and go attack these guys. They're gonna see me, aren't they? Well, that's fine. These guys are still in it. I don't understand what's going on. How is this possible? Toes, toes. One, two, tie my laces, three, four, sideways faces. Alright, well, it's murder time. Come back here. This is somehow working, and I don't know why. Oh no. Yeah? Did I find a bug in the game or something? Well, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> this doesn't make much sense. Alright, I need to find some stairs. Oh. Where could they be? Hello there. Once per round a character can react to another action, manage your available reactions in the reaction tab. Oh, I can do this as a reaction? To not fail an attack? Heck yeah, I'm going to do it. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. I have no choice. Uh, frenzy! I should have done that first. Now that I think about it. Alright, time to go over here and do it all over again. It's sneaky time. <laughs> oh, I can't enter a rage again. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, well. well it's well, fine. Well. 
It's fine. Um, once per long rest, I can set people on fire. I like it. Reckless attack! Caught in the act of killing. A fight is unavoidable now. Listen, I have no choice. You guys are gonna kill my friends if I don't. Meanwhile, somehow everyone else is just suspended in time. What do you mean there's no way there? Oh wait, there's a ladder! Okay. I know what to do. Go back up. What are you doing? Hi, Sam. Welcome. I'm accidentally doing something that shouldn't be possible somehow. I don't know what's going on. So, two of my characters are caught in a fight and they're in structured turn-based time while one of my characters is just roaming freely for some reason I don't understand how that happened it's like she stopped time and was able to go all the way over to the roof so um, these goblins in this camp are organizing an attack on uh, this area right here that I can't see right now um, on a, uh, a druid's camp they've been attacking their gate for days and days and they're mounting uh, a big attack and well I have to stop them because I don't want the druids to just die um, but this doesn't feel fair because I've already killed like four goblins without them even reacting to me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's like I've stopped time. Uh, I can't even frenzy anymore. How are you doing, Sam? Everyone's on the roof. Oh, I wonder if I can push them off. Let's try it out. See, they're not even reacting! I don't even know what's going on. Let's see... Shove? Okay, joined battle. So she's in the action now. And it's Asterion's turn. But... Oh, wait! One of my characters is not in... Structured time. I don't. I don't understand what's going on anymore. Oh, she joined the battle. Never mind. Everyone's in structured time now. Battle can resume. <laughs> yes, isn't it satisfying? It shouldn't be, but it really is. Yes, here. Okay. Time for... Uh, you to go back in the building, actually. <laughs> if I don't have the range, I better stay undercover. Alright, Shadowheart. What can I do? Target is too far. 18 meters is not that far, is it? Alright, well, 
End your turn here. Oh gosh, Rhea is such an, in such a bad place. Oh no. Wait, how can you see her from here? In the hole in the roof? That's unfair. Jerks. Oh my gosh, critical hit. This has gone from bad to worse. Yeah, they did. He's he's right here. He only took five damage. It's not that high. It's just one story. Dang it. Tough little goblin boy. Uh, yeah, this is not going as it should. <laughs> this is going terribly wrong. Alright, time to dash. Oh my help. god! Uh... Oh no. Uh, magic missile, maybe? There, two on him, and two on him. Dang it, that's not enough to take down either of them. Uh, run. <laughs> and healing potion. Can you see anyone from this vantage point? It doesn't look like it. Well, time to run. Yeah, it would hurt! He only took five hit points of damage. I feel like it would hurt a lot more than that. I still stand by what I did. That was the, have to keep going. That was a fun thing to do. Okay. That's all I can do for now. Oh my gosh, my character is going down. Keep them guessing. It's a disaster. Oh no. Got to press on. So, uh, we're not real tacticians yet. <laughs> oh, dang it. Look at this. Well, Karlak is just dead now. You know what? I'm gonna have to load. <laughs> we're trying again. It's a disaster! Poof. I know, we just poofed. Even though I was able to exploit the game somehow? I, I don't... I don't know. Well, we're back. <laughs> okay, this isn't going to... this isn't going to be very glorious, but, um... I mean, he's sleeping. I don't really have a choice. Alright, well... That did not take him out. Wow, so much for peace. Firebolt? Okay, good. And that didn't alarm anyone else, so that's good. I'll take that. How about this time, instead... We get on top of the roof. Firebolt looks painful. I... It really does, doesn't it? Isn't it satisfying to use, though? Plus, my characters are level... 3, I think? 
Yeah, level three. When I get to level five, I'll be able to get Fireball. And Fireball is awesome. It creates a huge fire explosion. Oh, what a day. Right, it's time to hide. Okay, so he's gonna go over here. They're not even reacting. Like, I managed to make them not hostile towards me by using my tadpole in my brain somehow. Because I'm infected with a tadpole that's eating my brain. And it's giving me psychic powers. And, uh... And now they don't want to fight me. But if I don't get rid of them, they'll kill all of my friends. So... I don't have a choice. You'll be fine, Korlak. Uh, she can go over here. And Shadowheart can go on this roof. If I surprise take down everyone that's on the roof, it'll give me a much better chance, I think. Because then I'll have the high ground! Everyone's hiding now. On tippy toes. This calls for careful footwork. Not used to lying low. Okay. Nice and quiet now. Really? Now. It's time for the attack. probably do it on him, shouldn't I? He has way more HP. Let's go! Surprise! Uh, okay, what now? Ooh, I can shove him as a bonus action! Take this! Aww. It did not work. Okay, well, retreat. <laughs> go behind this guy. Meanwhile, uh, I would like, oh, available only in combat. So I have to I initiate a combat action first. Well, now is as good a time as ever. Take this. <laughs> Wait, the other one didn't even notice. <laughs> what in the world? Take this! Okay. Time for... Firebolt! Never mind. Time to push him off. Shove! Ah, oh, that didn't get him. Never mind. And time for... Okay, what can I do? This is gonna do two to seven damage. He's stupid. I know. <laughs> Your friend literally like what seven or eight meters behind you just went up in a blaze of flames. He's he's not the smartest man on his team, but I mean he's trying his best. You can tell he's trying his best. Uh... Guiding Bolt? That seems a bit overkill, actually. Okay, so what do we do then? Just a regular attack? I can do a regular attack, and if it fails, I can push him off the roof. Okay, well... I apparently killed him by just staring at him real hard. 
Why not? Shaz! Dang it. I'm heating up. Shaz! Woo! Alright, well, he still has 3 HP, but that will daze him for a little bit. It's time for a melee attack. Okay, that makes it a lot harder. So what's left? Only those these two guys. Okay. Off the roof. Actually, he should stay on the roof, I think. Quickly. How did you hit that? Someone needs to go down there and give him a lesson. Uh, I see inside there. Please show me the inside of that building. Please, I'm asking nicely. Aha. Not enough movement. Oh, but apparently I can jump down from here. I hope that won't hurt me too bad. Ouch. Okay, she took a lot of damage from this. Uh, cure wounds? And hide. I like how you took more damage jumping down. Don't judge me! <laughs> I know, right? You would think that a controlled descent, a controlled falling action, would be a bit more efficient, effective, than just falling down face first. Please tell me I can see him from here. Cast that at level two. Wait. Le level two. All right, four projectiles. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. All right. <laughs> Love Magic Missile. Magic Missile can never miss, by the way. That's like the one spell that can never miss. No matter what. Even the Flash wouldn't be able to run fast enough to avoid these forever. Light on my feet. Okay, well that's a lot of them taken out. What am I to do? Now you're to heal yourself. Take you. And now, to do. blue thing, shiny blue rune. Oh, that? Oh, I forgot to activate it. That's um, that's a neat little thing called a uh, waypoint. I think Seems it's like enough. a teleportation circle, kind of. I can use it to teleport between different places. It's super useful. It's fast travel. Gather up, everyone. We've got more work to do. Three more hostiles. Rogue time. Oh, is there someone over there? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. 
I don't want to fight these guys. <laughs> is is there a way I can just yeah? The, if 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 goblins are scary, or ogres are just terrifying. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get rid of them though somehow. Otherwise, they're gonna raid the camp. I'm gonna have to try. All right, everyone. The gobl the goblins don't even know I'm hostile yet. We can use this to our advantage. <laughs> oh, this feels so dirty. Okay. You. Go over here. Shadowheart, you it's follow him because he's undoubtedly gonna get hurt. Um Karlak, you're gonna be needed probably over there too. Soldier on my way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Yeah, you know, you know, Look. you said that right. I'm gonna have to take out the orgers somehow. But not all three of them at the same time. I might be able to take one at a time, but all three of them? Here, I should save first. Just in case things go awry, as you know, they undoubtedly will. I have to keep going. Well, hello. Step quick. Okay, it's time for just like normal time. Sneak attack. Oh. Regular attack. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Aha. Wait, they're not surprised? Dang it. Uh, everyone's in the fight, that's good. Critical hit! Let's go! Don't linger. Alright, time to go help the others. Still on my feet. Too close. Okay, I'm gonna... He gets attack of opportunity, that's not good. I can try to topple him. Nice, it worked! I'm out of here. I'm gonna get the high ground. Sort of. Oh no. Don't run too far in that direction, please. This is not going well. Again. <laughs> uh, I am not very good at this. Um, we'll just well, go well. bonk him, I guess. Reckless attack! Dang it. Uh, I guess that's it. Two to seven. Can I just get out of the way of the acid and... Okay. Regular attack, let's go! Piercing strike! Dang it, Asterion, I thought better of you. Bite him! <laughs> My breath. Oh no, please don't continue going in that direction. Uh get him. Okay, I don't think the ogre saw that. They're not they're not exactly smart, thankfully. Inhead. 
and melee attack. Time to move. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Firebolt. Oh no. Run. Oh, these guys are alerted now. You have got to be kidding me. Well, time to rage. I would like to rage! And now... We're going to... Lacerate. This is better work. 60%. But it does less damage. I'm just gonna risk it. Yes! Okay. Okay. I can salvage this. We're gonna be fine. I uh, have a potion. This is getting worse. I know. Uh, warg. It's like a big wolf mutant kind of that the goblins ride somehow this one got summoned by this goblin right here this line fellow I think he's a ranger I'm glad wolves don't be like that IRL it's scary isn't it he's so big look at these claws these claws are almost as big as, like, anyone's hand. It's terrifying. Okay, can you hide? To the death. Oh, nice. Okay, I got him. Now... You can go over here and hide. Oh no. Over here? Blood comes easy these days. Time to dash. And join the fight. got a good accuracy, which is not good for me. Uh... Attack! And attack again! Wait, wait, wait. Can I grab him and throw him? Ah, oh, I get disadvantage. Oh, never mind. Regular attack will do. And shoot. Know what bit them? Let's go. Woo! Sneak attack. Throw an ogre. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I highly doubt I can do that. Victory! What's her strength? Let's see. Uh, she has a strength of 17, which is very high, but I don't think she's strong enough to throw an ogre. Wait, I need- I need to- I need to know. <laughs> D and D. Uh, lift strength. I need to know. You can push, drag, or lift a weight in pounds up to twice your carrying capacity or 30 times your strength score. Okay, what's her carrying capacity? 210 pounds, so she can lift up to 420 pounds, theoretically. 
How heavy is an ogre? We need to resolve this question. <gasps> 600 pounds! Okay, she's not strong enough. Yeah, she has a strength score of... 17. And 17... We're doing the real important math here. The real questions are being answered. 17 times 30 is 510, apparently. So those two measurements are not the same, but even then, an ogre is 600 to 650 pounds. Apparently. So... I don't think she can lift an ogre. This is sad. I need to increase her strength score so she can. Wouldn't that be fun? Lift more. Yeah, she's been skipping a couple of, uh, bench press days. How are you doing, Ducktoes? <clears throat> so we've got three ogre friends over here. And I do not want to engage with them. I am very scared. Uh, we've been cleansing this camp of the goblins, though. At least things have stayed interesting. Breathe deep and move. All right, time to save. <laughs> After we survived this. Wait, why are you going into the acid, you dummies? Let's see what this does. Don't stand in the fire. How's your day been so far, Ductos? Have you done anything interesting? Huh. You're gonna like this, Ductos. It's murder time. How delicious. It's murder time. Uh, fireball, uh, firebolt. Don't give up now. How much further can I go? I hope you're. I hope you're satisfied, Ducktoes. <laughs> hmm. Moss covered chest. I wonder if any of these gobos have a. Uh, Moss covered key. I think they do. Or wait, no, I can just. I can just lockpick it. I have a rogue in my party. He's gotta be useful for something. Stella. Stella SDR2. Sorry for butchering. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, hi. Thanks for the follow. Very appreciated. I hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Okay, so do I just drag the thief tools over to the chest? Is that how it works? No, that would just put them down on the ground. Okay. Uh, use on this. Oh, okay. Uh, it's working. Add guidance, and let's go. Ah! Don't let me down, Asterion! Wait, what are all those bonuses? Sure, why not? I, I don't know why I succeeded, but I did. <laughs> why not? I'm having a wonderful day as well, thanks for asking. I am still a bit sick. I've been sick for the past three weeks almost non-stop, but I'm recovering. It's been... it's been going around a lot, it seems. No one stopped me yet. Okay, so what's in here? Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Haste Helm. At the start of combat, the war against momentum for three turns. Do you guys have any idea what momentum does? Can I examine... 
Oh, it, it tells me, okay. Spurred on by a sense of urgency, the affected entity's movement speed has increased by 1.5 meter per remaining duration of its effect. Removed when restrained, incapacitated, prone, or slowed down. I feel like that would be really useful for Astarian, especially. Or or maybe for uh Carlac, because she can run faster to her to her opponents. Because Astarian is very content to stay ranged. I'm gonna give it to Carlac. Can she even wear it? Yes. Let's go. Now she's even swifter. Uh, I usually stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, Let's move. I also stream in the morning on Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Usually, I have a I have a um, a schedule I usually post in my Discord. Uh, I didn't post it this week because I didn't know if I was going to be able to stream or not due to the sickness and all. I really should post more on Twitter. I often forget about it. <laughs> I'll post my schedules there as well. I appreciate you for asking. Time to press ahead. As a matter of fact, I should probably start working on next week's schedule, huh? After the stream, that is. Disco better. <laughs> I love that you call it disco. Okay, we save here. This community is really supporting there on uh, on Twitter? I've never really been a big part of Twitter. Like, I, I, I never really got into it. I know that it's, um... It's very big and it's got a lot of awesome people on there. But... It's... It's hard for me to remember about it sometimes. But I definitely should be posting a bit more on there. Alright. Well, I'll see if I can talk to those guys. Tastes like chicken. Convince them to separate somehow. They're not exactly smart. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Yeah, well, I saved first, so it'll be fine. <laughs> I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Oh, he wants me to show him the, the tadpole powers. Do you play uh, Baldur's Gate, Stellar? I like his name, Lumped the en Lump the Enlightened. Ooh, I do have proficiency in deception. Think we can convince him? Maybe. Maybe we can even convince him to convince them to separate. I'm gonna use friends. I'm not taking any risk with this. Let's go. Let's roll. That's a success, I think. Or at least it's pretty obvious that it is. Let's go. We did it. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Yeah, very regrettable. Food. Now, how about you guys go Not on errands food. in different areas? Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you... A delicacy. Were I so lucky? We get it. You like eating people. Uh-huh. 
of no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. Well, he's a man of the his own principles, I suppose. My appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold, we check brand. Good deal. No talk. Oh, man. Let's go. We're going to deceive them. By all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. If we can convince them Make not to attack enough. the, um... Tempt me. The druids, at the very least. Then I might be able to save people without having to fight these guys. 1,000 gold? Yeah, I don't have that. That would be deception only. <laughs> I'm not gonna close on that contract. Uh, I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen. Ooh. Which one should I go for? You like option two? I'm gonna make you guys vote for it. It the vote the voting should be live. It should be little buttons on the screen if everything's working right. I'm crossing my fingers that it works. <gasps> it does. Okay. What do you say, um, Ductas? And, and uh, the choices are between options one and two. I'm not going to attack them, obviously. Because I would die immediately. Three ogres at level three? Forget about it. All right, looks like we're going to go for persuasion. <gasps> Difficulty class 20. Oh, that's gonna be hard. At least I still have the friends bonus. Uh, oh no. All right, we need we need some epic music to to complement this difficult role. <laughs> Do I even have epic music? Hold on. Dang it. I don't have my music prepared. Well, never mind. Let's just roll it and see what happens. Let's go! Please, 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 please. No! We were so close and yet so far. Oh, no. Use inspiration. <gasps> Right, I do have inspiration. Let's roll again. I don't want to be crushed by a bunch of og ogres. Okay, this has got to be it. This has got to be the one. Please, please, please. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go. A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. I felt inspired Take my today. Bone. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. <gasps> I can sick him on, on my enemies. And I love it. Never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. He works for me now. We will keep close. When you you work for me now success <laughs> I can sick my army of ogres oh they be magical ogres too <laughs> I can sick my army of ogres onto my enemies well I think we have successfully solved this and I'm almost at level four too scary i know imagine that though you're fighting a battle and suddenly your your opponent whips out a horn that looks carved out of bone that is still a bit bloody 
blows into it a resounding sound of terror, and three massive ogres just appear out of nowhere and wreck everything. I would... I would probably poop my pants. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Lump's Warhorn. I put it right there so it's nice and visible. <coughs> That'll come in handy later. If I want to unleash absolute horrors upon my enemies. Let's have a look. Do I still have a short rest? I do. Let's yeah, let's use it. Oh, nice. Everyone's refreshed. That could come in handy. Do I have anyone who can wear light armor? Oh yeah. Uh, where's the helmet? Slot. There. That'll do. Or do I equip it onto a star and... Yeah, I'll do that. I wish she can keep her circlet. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. <laughs> well said. Very well. Well, time for some looting. Anything I might as well. Basic poison. Yes, please. Please don't step in the acid again. Alright, well, what's next? Let's see if there are any more goblins around. I think the m most... The biggest part of the threat has been averted at, uh, as of now, but... I really want to make sure that they're all gone. I don't want the blood of the druids on my hands. What is going on there? Everything's on fire. Oh, oh no, more goblins. Oh no. I have to take care of these guys too, don't I? Find the leader. There's more over there too? Okay, this is gonna take a while. Uh. How about we don't just go Oi, straight in. Th oh gosh, darn it. This is off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. Uh. Can I go over there? Can't see crap. I No, I can't get there. Okay, I'm just gonna go back around over there maybe. I still have one use of my tadpole. I think. How do I get... Oop. What? What's going on with the camera? How do I get over there? I think that's the main camp, right? That's where we have to go. Uh, there might be a way to pass through over here. This path. Oh, no, never mind. Through the bridge, maybe? We might as well try it out. I like how the goblins, they're either completely blind or they have true sight. Like, they can see through walls. Mm. 
I would not attempt to jump like that in real life. <laughs> That's, that has got to be it right now. No, it's not. Is there no way I can go around? Oh, oh. I think this might be it. Look at that beast. Seems almost too big to take flight. What? It would be too much Where? to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? Where? I just saw a big shadow. What was that? Seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. That thing could swallow us in a gulp. What was it? I didn't see it. Can you just tell me what it was? Where is it? Is it still around? Please tell me it's not a dragon. Please tell me it's not a dragon. Please tell me it's not a dragon. <laughs> I cannot fight a dragon, even a small one. Well, I guess all there is left to do is to venture forth and hope to all the gods that you can think of that whatever that is won't swallow us in one gulp. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Oh god. Oh no. It's a red dragon. It's Grandpa. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing, Grandpa? Ogre versus dragon. The, the dragon wins. 100%. The dragon wins. <laughs> Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We may Okay, he looks to... badass. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. I hate to be negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. It is a red dragon. It's so scary. Just use water. <laughs> I don't think that's how dragons work, Ritsu. I've played Pokemon before. It's very effective. Uh, yeah, he's a big Charmander. How are you doing, Ritsu? Okay, uh, yeah, I do not want to face the Githyanki. I will not go there, but there is a nice little side path that hopefully I can use to get to the goblin camp. I have to keep going. I'm doing great. I'm getting better. I'm I'm recovering. I'm still coughing a lot, but mostly in the morning. How are you feeling, Ritsu? Oh yeah, you you just said you're good. <laughs> I'm glad you are. Oh no. I can't reach there. Oh, that is bad. So this is not the way to go. So... Uh, there's gotta be something I can do. Some way I can get through. Maybe an item of some sort? Maybe some rope? Do we even have some rope? Maybe a spell? I have Misty Step, but not everyone's going to be able to get through. Mage Hand? Yeah, I don't think Mage Hand is going to be of much help here. I wish it could carry me across. Fly. I'm just going to dismiss it. What path lies before me? 
immune to this sickness. Lucky! Master Hand from Smash Bros. <laughs> you know it. Master Hand's my friend. He does whatever I tell him to. You wish you had a Master Hand too. Well, I'm gonna have to go through the front door, but thankfully... I have just the friends to help me get through there, don't I? I have just the friends. Time to run. Very special potion from a drugstore called a multivitamin. I take multivitamins too, and I got sick for three weeks straight. I mean, it helps, I'm sure, but it did not help quite enough. Okay, so I'll have to go through there. I have no choice. I have to go the dangerous route. Taking the wrong one. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not taking the special Ritsu vitamin. Hitting my head on the wall tech. I mean, it's it's gotta work, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. That, that's how medicine works. Sam's special technique is hitting his wall, his head on the wall until until he feels better. Next time, scribble beyond guard duty. I won't. Okay. Ooh, I think I know what to do. You can see all of this. Wait, no, now's the time. Now's the time. Let's go. Goblins ahead. We'll need a cover story. Not if you just sneak in. You'll be fine. They might already know what I'm doing, but. Uh oh. Careful. I was trying to concentrate. Blast mine. Oh gosh, please don't blow up on me. Well, three. Five, seven, plus nine. I'm getting a plus ten. I'll be fine. Oh, I can even get guidance. This this cannot fail unless I get a one. Yay! The Ritsu vitamin is rare these days. It's like a it's like a slight blessing. It renders you immune to all Ill ailments and illnesses. If you slam hard enough, it'll hurt the sickness too. Yeah, it's like chemotherapy. Where were you? Were you here when the thing happened? What thing? That we, uh, we managed to gain an army of very hungry ogres? Yeah, we have an we have an army of ogres we can call whenever we want, essentially. You just got here. Have you been having a good day by the way? How's your day been so far? Have you been up to anything fun? I've been drawing most of the morning. Working on some uh, drawing practice. Okay, I might be able to jump across from here. Jump, jump, jump. Yes! Right here. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. They're very clever. But I am sneakier.
It was up until 6 a.m. doing art? Oh my god, I almost did the same thing the other day. Wow, that was close. I almost did the same thing the other day. Like, I I was drawing and I was... I had been drawing for like five hours or something. And I was so engrossed in it. That when my wife knocked and... Well, not, when, when my wife let me know. That it was... Past midnight. I didn't believe her for a bit. Until I saw the time myself. When you enjoy what you're doing, time just flies. Also, uh... Spoiler warning, but, um... Asterion is... A vampire? Spawn? He woke me up in the middle of the night, trying to bite me. I was very close to skewering him, turning him into a uh, vampire kebab. But he's nice about it. He's a nice vampire who just asks you nicely before sucking your blood, I guess. So it's fine. It's all good. We're cool. Sneaky sneak. Okay, what do we do from here? Can't afford to stay idle. <sighs> Don't mind me. What's on your mind? Oh, dang it. I'm not here to talk, I'm here to sneak. Don't want to draw any attention. Just out of view. Better be cautious. Is it not working? Oh, I was spotted. Why, why aren't they doing anything if I was spotted? What's going on? I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save and then walk into view and see what happens. <laughs> I, I'm just visiting. Don't ask me why I didn't go through the front gate. Hi, hello. They're not reacting. What is going on with these goblins? Hey, buddies. How's it hanging? I want to go over there. They're just hanging out. I, I'm not sticking out to them. I What is going on? Yeah, I'm just here. Doing things. Hello. Perfectly normal. Going through the bridge like a goblin would. Game of the year right here. <laughs> hey, it doesn't have to make sense. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Uh oh. And turned against Wait, this is unfair. It's not supposed to be used against me. Clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadow. That's unfair. Scale. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. <coughs> These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison. And you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Explain yourself. Who are you? How do I feel like she knows what this is about? Is this the prism?
It sure looks like a prison. Your energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. That is terrifying. Who is she? Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Yes, but you owe us an explanation. Nice shadow heart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. What she said. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I like the mystery. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. Who is Shar again? I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shar's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Oh Heavens gosh. forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. You're one to talk, Asterion. Who is Shar again? I forgot. I, she's... I think she's a dark goddess, isn't she? Hold on. It's it's only one Google search away. D&D Shar. The Mistress of the Night and the Lady of Loss. The, darkne the Goddess of Darkness and the Night. A neutral evil greater deity. Interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm traveling with a cultist of Shar and a vampire, and also a member of a demon army, an ex member of a demon army, and a guy who just eats magical items for breakfast. What is this team? <laughs> no need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. So that confirms it then. With the cultist's it, aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. I think I'm starting to understand what's going on. Whoever that absolute is, that... I don't know if that's a goddess or like an entity of some sort, but she seems to be... responsible in part for the, um the tadpoles and what they're doing to us. And I don't like her. She seems very evil and very tyrannical. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Thank goodness we have that with us. It seems to be pushing her away. My, my. 
What a mystery. <coughs> well, let's keep going, I suppose. <gasps> He's chasing a chicken! Run, run, chicken, run! <laughs> oh, there are a lot of people here, and not all of them are goblins. Who in the world is Volo? There are a lot of them. I'm just going to walk in and see what happens. Ninety XP. Yay! I got XP for just being here. Apparently, it's D and D. Just, <laughs> just hit a net twenty. You'll be able to beat the goddess. That's not how D and D works. Twenty just gives you the best result from your action that is realistic. So like if you say... Or, or, or at least it should be that way. Not all DMs run it that way, but it should be just the best realistic reaction. Like if you say, oh, I'm going to convince the king to just give us his crown. A, f a, 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 a critical failure would be him being greatly offended and locking you up or even killing you or something, but a 20 might be he laughs it off as a joke and just doesn't mind that you said that. <clears throat> At least I think that's how it should be. Hi there. We're, We're just... Goblin Hanging out. Hi. I'm gonna catch the chicken. Catch the chicken. This is more important. That is a fast chicken. Come back. <laughs> I can't just focus on it. This is this is unfortunate. Ooh, they have ogres too, don't they? That's one. I hope they don't have more ogres than I do. That seems to only be the one. Alright, who am I looking for again? The leader of the goblin camp. Uh, who might that be? Join the view. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Oh no. Oh no. That's nasty. Was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. Had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. I just want to know who your leader is and where he is. Is he the leader? I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Okay, obviously not. Uh, a new age is dawning with goblins and trust. Mountains, great mortals, all kinders. Warlock, to Tracker. The true souls are coming. The loudest. Brawler. That doesn't evoke leader vibes. Traitor. Crusher. Maybe that's him. He does have some air of, uh, of leadership to him. I was told by a DM I knew a 20 is like an auto crit savior of all. Like if I want to ricoch ricochet an arrow four times off walls and get a headshot, a 20 is like the one in a million chance it happened. But that's the thing though, because if it's a one in a million chance, why would you constrain it to a 1 in 20 chance? Hi, Potato! How are you two doing today? 
All right, I'll talk with the bard. Like, I feel like if you wanted to do a one in a million chance kind of thing, you'd have to roll at least two d20s, and both of them would have to be 20. At least. That's just a one in 400 chance, though. Because if, if you get a one in a million thing happening every single time you roll a 20, then that's not a one in a million, that's a one in 20. Because your skill with a bow gives it extra chance. But... But here's the thing, it's always going to be 1 in 20 chance, no matter what skill you have. Like a Robin Hood type thing. I guess it's fine if you're going for like a power fantasy. Which is perfectly fine. A lot of people like to play power fantasies where, where they get to do cool tricks all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper maid. He looks very scared. I would be ash. too. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets. And drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> He's making it up on the spot. He's not bad. He's actually pretty good with those rhymes. He's popping off. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure those are made up words. <laughs> Suddenly not! What are you doing? I'm busy here! You lying! To you? Never! Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin! Draw Ragslin! Um, um, I am... Um, draw Ragslin! Um, um, come choose, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, Top ten rappers um, Eminem was afraid to diss. <laughs> oh no, I broke him. Draw Ragslin, we play. You can't kill kids in the game, but the devs made sure that you can kill goblin children. Oh no. Now look what you've done. Oh no. Goblin children deserve a chance. Not all goblins are evil. Yes, not fool me. Oh, that's rude. I'm sorry, Volo, I didn't mean to. Please don't cook him. I'll just go in, I suppose. Well, I don't know that yet. I don't I don't meta game. <laughs> Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolutes work. Yeah, and that makes me close, very power worried. Courses through you. Authority. Ooh, I've got an audience with the with the one in charge. That's what I want. I want to talk to him. Uh, deception it'll be. Let's see. 15. I should probably use friends. I'll take the risk. Let's go. Oh yeah. Booyah. <laughs> we did it. Take me to your manager. Right. Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna We're all doing the work of the absolute. Specific, mm, though, absolutely. Mate. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. 
You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Ooh, those are interesting choices, but I'm here to see the boss. They've got a drow, though. I'm very curious about that. Well, look! Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind. So step soft. I still have my, um... As if mingling with a horde of tackle power wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. You know, I don't like being here any more than you do. Good. I wasn't intending to. I am a busy return. That will be some real fun. <laughs> okay, let's go in and try not to die. All three of them? I can't imagine goblins would get along with a whole lot of different people to share leadership. Uh, where is the, tr the throne room? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, oh no. Is it over here? Maybe? Wait. Volo! Kill all three leaders. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we know where one of them is. Okay, um. This is gonna be dangerous. Especially since most of my spell slots are gone. But. I have this. Ooh, I can summon the ogres! In a bind. Alright, time to go see Volo. There's a prisoner. I a prisoner. Hi, I'm just visiting. Hello. Oops, no. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. I'm s I am didn't mean to, I just wanted to talk to him. Don't go bothering my pigeon, he's mine. Always ended up killing the ogres. Well, here's the thing. They're strong. I'm scared. <laughs> but I managed to talk to them. Talk them into working for me. Keep him safe. Listen to him cool. Till I get something <coughs> some stuff. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Yeah, I'm not using it for this. Uh... Let's go for detect de deception again. Deception is carrying me through this game, it really is. Let's go! 17. I see. Well, I don't wanna... I don't wanna metagame. I don't wanna know in advance what loot they have or don't. I'm just enjoying the story in tactician's don't mode for some job, reason. Don't <laughs> and don't let the lad snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. How can you even take on three ogres at level three? Team. Pigeons all yours. It doesn't seem to be very feasible. <laughs> I'm quite safe. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Uh, yeah, you can make up new words like, um. Why am I forgetting his name? Great English writer who made up words all the time for some reason. Wow, I 
my brain is just not working properly. <laughs> He's like the most renowned English writer of all time, and I forgot his name anyway. The best part of this game is that there are like a million different ways to go about everything. I know, it's just like D&D. It's so awesome. They thought of everything. It's very clear by playing this game that the people who made it were big fans of D&D and played it all the time because they they understand how uh they they understand the spirit of D&D. His name is Volo. I mean, the actual English writer... Ah, Shakespeare! That's his name. Shakespeare made, made up words all the time, didn't he? He had several different ways of writing his own name. Larian is actually a genuinely good studio. They really are! I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. We mustn't you tarry, know it, buddy. but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? That's one way to say it. Yeah, go to my Magic. camp. Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. He seems like a fun guy to be around. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. I, I hope you don't mean that literally. <laughs> I've seen a lot of weird things recently. Please don't say that literally. And he's gone. My camp is going to become real lively. I like that they are doing a real good job, even as an independent studio. I know. It's so inspiring to see what they've done. Despite being a relatively small studio compared to many AAA studios, it's really awesome to see that they've been able to accomplish so much and make such a good game, and not riddle it with microtransactions. That's one of the best parts about it. Okay, um, yeah, there's a guy over there. You think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. That poor dwarf is not going to feed this entire camp. No booze, no sneaking off. Work pen. I don't want to go to a work pen. And now you dare to question me. But it seems like one of the leaders is there. Uh, I don't think that's where I want to go first, though. One of them is right over there somewhere. So let's go. That's where I said I'd go anyway, so I have plausible- <gasps> Oh no! We want you dead. Oh no! Not dead and heroic. I no longer want to fight these guys. I just want to leave. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god! No. No way. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is awful. I'm I'm gonna leave this place as fast as I can. <laughs> Somewhere you wanna go first. Are you sure about that? Oh, that's their leader. That's a hobgoblin, I think. Oh, he's got a lot of HP. Oh my god. True soul of the absolute. He's level five? I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. I feel like I feel a bit under leveled for this. Alright, I'm gonna go to Warg Pen and see what's up over there. And avoid the spiders. Let's not do anything suspicious right wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? 
We'll smoke them out, no problem. Hi, I'm just visiting. Hello. Nothing weird happening here. No shenanigans. No siri. Playing as different races allows you to approach this place in a totally different way. It seems that way. It seems like your race and your class can greatly influence your choices, where you come from, etc., etc. Wish I got a turn at the bear. Lucky. So where's the leader? Do you think I can set the animals up onto them? <gasps> that would be Sheep so useful! <laughs> it again. Keep your hands steady, three. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's gonna maul them alive. Again! Again! Make it squeal again. I'm just going to let them do that. The more they excite the bear, the more the bear is going to be angry. No, I'm not throwing a rock at it. Yes! Uh-oh. Please don't attack me. I'm gonna let the bear do bear things. The, bird, get the, bird. the bear is right here. I should have time to move most of my people. Okay. I am out of here. You can you guys can deal with the bear. The bear is against me. Yeah, I saw that. But you know what? It's it's fine. The bear can take care of the goblins for me. Uh, who that? So we've got two wargs. All right. Well, I'm just gonna leave. There's stuff over here. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to leave and see what happens. Just observe from the sidelines. Ooh, they're coming too. On the way. Never a dull moment. On my way. Yes, distract the bear. <laughs> of all the things I expected to have in restaurant, it was not. Si I'm not siding with the goblins. I don't want to harm the bear, but also, oh god. I don't want to harm the bear, but also. Like, he's helping out? Like, he's angry and he's helping out? Oh, gosh. Uh... Run. Run away. Yeah, they are neutral towards me. But the bear is not neutral towards them. That's... No, no, don't spoil. Please don't spoil. It's okay. No spoilers. I should have probably... I mean, in retrospect, I should have probably helped the bear out and then let it free. 
but I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that at all. Rip it is. It's okay. Oh, the poor bear. Yeah. You know... I don't... I kind of regret this because I wish the I wish the bear would be on my side because I don't want to harm it either. I don't want it to die. Dang it! It's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, I feel really bad about this. <laughs> Save scum. I mean, I could. That would be better than just watching the poor bear die. All right, let's just let's just pretend this never happened. With the power to turn the wheels of time in my favor, which I'm definitely not abusing for my own gain. Let's go. <laughs> this game shall stand as a monument of how power corrupts. I quite like the look of, um, I'm assuming this is a dwarven citadel of some kind. Alright, where are we? Oh. Oh. I thought I had saved after saving Volo. Well, no matter. I can just go back and do it again. It'll be fine. For in my pigeon, it's mine. I'm gonna make the same choices. Keep him safe. Listen, what's it to ya? Think as the symbol glows, power, perception, authority, and success again. Thank goodness. To bring him back. Here's the key. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on. We mustn't tarry, but I hate Go to for the a camp. Man. All done. Okay. Oh wait, level up? Why? How is just one person in my party leveled up? Sure, why not? Uh, over here. There, I'll level him up. I thought everyone had the same amount of XP. Everyone's not that far behind, thankfully. Okay. Choices pending. We've got... Spell Charm Person. Color Spray. Hideous Laughter. And blind creatures. What does blind do again? Just reduce their accuracy, right? Uh, I feel like Charm Person is so um, appropriate for Asterian. <laughs> I quite like it. Other than that, I, I've got Sleep, Disguise Self. Okay, those are good. I don't need to change anything. Feet time. There are so many! Okay, I can take an ability improvement. I shouldn't be putting charisma on him. He gained plus five bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. That looks really good for him. Strength and dexterity increased by one. This is basically an ASI, but better. We are prone, setting up uses significantly less movement. 
Alert is the best at level 4. I will definitely take that into consideration. It seems pretty good for him specifically. Uh, Charger crossbow expert. Ooh, this is something I might, I might want to take for him at some point. Maybe not now, but definitely at some point, because he's got two crossbows. Uh, dual wielder. Reception check. Ooh, he's already pretty good at detecting traps, but he could be even better. That could be good. Constitution. Light, lightly armored. Yeah, I, there's no reason to take an ASI when these give you a plus two plus an additional effect. Three luck points, which you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Interesting. Magic initiate. Mage Slayer, interesting. Mobile, movement speed. Polar Master, resilient. Interesting. Two ritual spells. I'm sorry I'm taking so much time to check them all, but I'm, I'm not too familiar with feats at the moment. Oh, Sentinel is so cool for someone who has a polearm, I've heard. Because you can, with a polearm, you have 10 feet of range instead of 5. And then Sentinel can make you attack relentlessly. Uh, sharpshooter... Proficiency in three skills. That could be useful for my main character. Uh, of Orchester. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Alert. Especially when it comes to Asterion, he really benefits from this. So, I'll just take that. Plus, as you said, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's just good overall. <coughs> because attacking first in a combat is hugely... Hugely powerful. And you can finish almost all combat at the beginning as a result. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can also, if I get surprised, I can get a better vantage point for the fight ahead. I like it a lot. Thank you for the suggestion. Everyone else is about to get level 4 as well. Just 24 XP. Oh, they're not all the same. They're just very close together. Can't we just sure, why not? The forest? Ralph wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. Let's go in. Bear time. Please be my friend. <laughs> Again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises! And it's gonna maul you alive! Leave him alone! Get lost if you can't stand a bit of rough housing. Okay. Well, this might be a mistake as well, but it's time for you to get what you deserve. We're doing right by the bear. I know. 
I feel I feel bad about before. The poor bear. Please be my friend. Yay, he's my friend! Yay! <laughs> we did it. Okay. Um I can try to hide. I don't think that's gonna work here though. There are... Okay, these aren't engaged yet, are they? Oh, they are. Oh, boy. Well, I'm gonna stay close to the bear, I think. Because I don't want... I don't want to be separated from my friend. Okay, can I attack twice? Since I have two crossbows. Oh, I don't have two crossbows. What happened? I thought I did. Didn't I have a magic one? What happened to it? I spent so much gold on- <gasps> It's right here. I forgot to equip it to him. Dang. Can I do it now? Apparently I can. But that consumed his action. You know what? That's fine. I can still do an offhand attack. Go over here. Dang. Isn't he so cool? He looks like Vala from Diablo with his two little crossbows. I love it. Idol. Yeah, I'm I'm silly like that. But now now he's equipped. I do I still have my action? Oh, I do. Okay, wonderful. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna hope that I can get away with not using spells, or at least not using spell slots, because I feel like I'm going to need them very soon. Uh, over here. Beat the child! <laughs> Please don't attack me. I can't take it right now. Oh, dang. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! I don't like this. Get away from me. Help me, bear buddy. Just swap to the cantrips page. Right, I have multiple cantrips, don't I? It's disgusting! Oh, and it's doing a lot of damage. You're going down, buddy. It's time... It's time to... Rage! I would like to rage! And... Say bye -bye. Main hand attack. Critical hit! Let's go! I am not letting my bear buddy go down. If spiders were this big IRL, I'd leave Earth, I'd be out. <laughs> Burn the whole thing down. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to live on this planet anymore either. Wow, that is a strong buddy. And he gained his HP too? That is great. I want to- I want him as a friend, I want to pet him. I learned early on that the best way to complete this fight easily is to get the kids first. Is that so? Well, the kids are- kids are out. Oh, I think there's still one over here. Oh, both of them are still over here. Uh... You are going down. Hit the child! Dang it. It's time for crossbows! That 
is so cool. And just a quick go up here. Get the high ground. Right. Let's go. Get the child. Don't waste I feel so good about my own actions right now. <laughs> Ain't that just Australia? Yeah, you're not wrong. I would not want to go to Australia for that precise reason. Australia is scary. Okay, the words are out. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. It's time for... Frenzied attack. Uh, yes. Reckless attack. Dang it. Attack again. Yes. I was just about to say please don't dash. Oh, no. Carlac's in danger. Well, I've got my trusty bear friend at my side, though. Yes! I love that he can regain HP when he hits. He's such a good boy. Look at him. A big boy. A big good boy. Uh, now it's time for... Guidance. I've got Sacred Flame. Firebolt. I forget I have Firebolt with her. That could be pretty useful, actually. Firebolt time! Oh, dang. Never mind. Consig considering how OP. What is that? Is that oil? Grease? Uh oh. I don't want to stay here. Two-hand crossbows. It's like the best option to use for Eve, even as rangers instead of a bow. Isn't it awesome? I love it so much. All right, time for some attacks. I want to attack this guy. He is so strong! These two crossbows have turned Asterion into a killing machine. Wow! Okay, as much as I don't want to move so that I don't risk being prone, standing in the grease and risking being set on fire is also not particularly interesting of an idea. Okay, everyone's fine. And spider time. And go over here. Okay, thank goodness. Everyone's fine. You can even do the same with two daggers. <gasps> Is that true? Oh, I want to equip a second dagger onto him. Okay, it's time to cleave. Cleaving time! Reckless attack! Oh, dang, I only got one of them. Can I... I get disadvantage, but also advantage because of reckless attack. I want to grab him and throw him on the other guy. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Karlak is the best. This is this is amazing. Okay, and now go over there. Go after the warg. Wasn't this awesome? I love Karlak. <laughs> oh yeah. You show him. Oh, he had a lot of HP, didn't he? Time for have to keep going. A little bit of magic. Oh wait, this is an action. Well, never mind. I'm gonna keep my spell point. Just, just stand here. You'll be fine. Uh, 
Asterion time! Watch out! He's so strong! Survival is all that matters. Okay, uh... Oh, I should have picked up... You know, I'm gonna pick up, um... Shocking Grasp when I level up, because I really need a melee spell. So what do I do? Topple, maybe? Oh, that's very unlikely to work. Hmm. I could use Misty Step, but that would take up a level 2 spell slot. Besides, she's not in that much danger. I'm just gonna topple him. Yes, it worked! Okay. Back to safety! Bye-bye! Don't hurt my bear! Open up. Reckless attack! I love reckless attack. I had no idea before that you can use it as a reaction when you're about to fail your roll. That makes it so much better. And now I go over here and frenzied attack onto him. Dang. It's okay. Yes! He's my best friend! Okay, I get advantage, so I'm gonna use it. Just three damage. Uh oh yeah, she doesn't do a whole lot of damage, does she? I'm gonna try to push him. Yes! That way she can run away without having to disengage. Shove is so useful. Alright, well you know what it's time for? It's time for mini crossbows! Nothing will stand in my way. Fire! Uh, I'm scared now. I got this. Okay, can she jump over here? Not enough movement. Never mind. Is there a way I can hit him with a ranged attack? Oh yeah, let's do it. Nice! We did it! Woo! Everyone levels up! <laughs> Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. He's a druid! <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. <gasps> It's Halson! We found him! Well, I did not expect that. I probably should have, but I did not expect that. That is so cool! Well, he's still my best friend, even though he's not exactly a real bear. It is due to this reason the best feat for Karlak is Tavern Brawler. Oh my gosh! I can see- I can see that! What do you think? I kept telling you the bear is important. You know, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad I listened to your advice. <laughs> Thanks for nudging me in the right direction without spoiling it to me. I did not expect it. It flew under my radar completely. Yeah, I'm I'm very surprised. This is yes, my just my response. Spice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Yet yeah, the Emerald Grove is in danger. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Ooh, oh, I like the cool cat emote. In your eyes. <laughs> I've seen it before. That Are is a cool cat. Right? Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But 
Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? It was housing as the bear and Asterion on the BG3 promotional video. Really? We found the bear. <laughs> We, we, we found we found the um, the promotional bear <laughs> we know what you're up to at night Halson <laughs> I know exactly which promotional video you talk you're talking about you have to admit even though it was incredibly weird of a promotional video it worked it was genius promotion it got people talking about the game. And it was, at the same time, promoting how you can do anything you want in a game, even weird things that you probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> oh no. Can I change the character? Oh, never mind. I'm stuck talking to him as Karlak. That's fine. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. That would They're explain a lot. Exert control over the infected. And that would be the absolute. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. Oh, that now must be that's where good these information. enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Started playing because of Karlak and stayed for Shadowheart. I can see why Karlak looks so badass. She's so awesome, and a strong fighter, or, or barbarian more like, more specifically. You can also hide the helmet the character wears. Oh, I can. I can specifically just hide the helmet. I'll try it out. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Yeah, sounds like a quest, all right. The helmets can be distracting. Yeah, I kind of agree, especially when it comes to her, like, to Karlak. I really like the design of, like, her horns and everything, and the helmet hides most of that. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. You've got to help me. No You're right my bear friend. You. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. Ooh, I cannot allow these butchers like to a threaten deal. my grove. The natural order <coughs> must be protected. Well, I was get I was planning to get rid of these guys anyway. Sneaky, sneaky, covert operations. We're gonna topple this camp from the inside. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Sounds like a plan.
Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Uh, hmm. Good question. Just take a long rest before this and go ahead, because it's going to be painful. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing so. I don't have almost any spell slots left, and I'm all already damaged. So... But taking a long rest won't make this quest expire, will it? Like, it won't be too late, will it? Uh, stay here May for Sylvanus now. guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Time to level up. Oh, I'm gonna save first. You can just reload regardless. That's that's true. Worst comes to worst. I can just reload the save. I don't like saves coming that much, but I mean, it's fine. Okay, I know exactly what to do here. Shocking grass. Oh, I don't even need to re uh, replace a spell. I can just grab it. It's free. It's free real estate. I could grab a level two spell as well. What spells do I already have? I wish I could see all of my spells here. Oh well. Vision, detect thoughts. Invisibility could come in handy. I like the idea of Gust of Wind. There's one thing I really like in these sorts of games, and it's pushing people into cliffs. <laughs> With the power of wind. There's an optimal way to fight the goblin leaders, but I, then again, I'm curious as to what you're gonna do. Yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna try to figure it out by myself. Worst thing that happens is I fail miserably, it's funny, and then we try again. You can look which spells you have at replace spells, but it doesn't show me my entire list. It only shows me a few. Only the ones I can change. Oh well. I, I think I'll take Gust of Wind. I just like it so much. I want to push people off roofs and cliffs. Um, I like all these spells already, so I'm not going to change anything. And then select a feat. What could I do? Warcaster could be useful, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Um, I could go for alert with her as well. As you said, it was really good. Are they the only spells I have? I feel like I have a lot more than that. Oh, those don't include cantrips. You're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. I have a lot of cantrips. That's why. Elemental Adept. I want Elemental Adept for fire, fire damage, at some point. Probably at level 8 though, because I don't even I don't even have bonus damage yet until level 6. So... I think I'll just go for alert. And then at level 8 I can take Elemental Adept, fire. You can always change the spells through respec. Oh, I can do that? I can just talk to, um... 
Withers. Mr. Skeleton Boy. Right, that'll be good for now. So much more HP! This is gonna help so much in the fight to come. Alright, um... Get a cantrip. Intimidation and performance. Produce flame. Blade ward. I think I'll take Blade Ward. I'm curious about that. It seems potentially useful. And then I can give her alert as well. Everyone gets alert. I feel like tough could be really useful for her as well, or um, either for her or for Karlak. I think I'm gonna put it on Karlak though, at level eight maybe. Because alert seems to be really, really strong. Karlak time. Tough is only good when you're level 12. Does it continue to happen over time? Like, if I if I take tough at level 4, does it continue to add more hit points? Or is it just up to the time you take the feat? You can even change the feats that way. Oh, that's so cool. Uh... Yeah, you can be alert as well. I think that's all she gets is a feat. And a metric buttload of HP. Well, let's go for it. That's the thing I'm not sure, uh, sure about. I see. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take it too early if I'm not sure about it. Uh... Okay, well, time to do some... Pickpocketing! And they have nothing. Moving in. Ah. Just get up, you're fine. You'll, you'll be fine. Just brush it off. <coughs> Work Fang. Elixir of Bloodlust. I know someone who could benefit from that. Adrenaline Rush. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain Wrath for two turns. Ooh, what does Wrath do? Plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons for every turn this condition has remaining. Sounds like a Karlak thing. Interested in these boots I found? They're yours. That's it, I suppose. Just hide that helmet. Oh, you're right, you're right. Uh... Default. How do I hide it? How do I do it? Oh, show helmet. Hide helmet during dialogues. Hide helmet completely. Let's go. And we can do the same for Asterion. There. His mane can freely flow in the wind. Yeah, her, her circlet is fine. And this hat. Oh my, this hat. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get rid of this hat. Still alive. So that's progress. 
Yeah, she looks so much better with it. Look at that! <laughs> Alright. I can just go to the camp from here, can't I? Uh, time for... A long rest. Interesting campsite. Alright, I'm gonna save. We're gonna talk to these guys. You can get a hat in Act 3, which increases your charisma by 2. Oh, really? That's so cool. What does it look like? Is it a nice looking hat? One oh. day I'll catch a break. I've got one thing I know I have to do pet the dog. Oh, who's a good boy? Who is a good boy? It's you. It's Scratch. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> That's a happy doggo. Oh, yeah. He's so cute. Can I help you increase it all the way to till 23 charisma? That's huge! With 23 charisma, you can talk your way out of anything. And for a sorcerer, that's really good, too. Because that would make my spells a lot stronger. What's my charisma right now? Uh, oh, right here. 17. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But it could be better. Point tier. Well, that's great, because... Look at that drip. <laughs> we're, we're slaying goblins in style. Alright, Asterion wants to talk to me. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an He's a very interesting guy to be around. Tentacles, you know? Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. I... Sure thing. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, You'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? He's... He doesn't seem... Uh, he's, he's gonna be very upset when he finds out. <laughs> Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time. If anyone and I'll is have to, this little issue sorted. If anyone is to take this thing out, I highly doubt it's going to be him. But I mean, <laughs> might as well have more people trying. Bo has decided to remain in your camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. I don't have anyone who can use that right now. 
but I'll take it. I might be able to feed it to Gale, if nothing else. I'll, I'll just keep it in my inventory. Speaking of Gale, hi, buddy. My condition is Are you worsening hungry? Again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Are you going to tell me what it's all about if I give you this armor I've just found? There are just no bard companions as of now. It's That seems to be the case. It's unfortunate. I'm thinking of making a bard character at some point, though. I like playing bards. They're just so much fun. They're versatile. Thank you. Alright. That, that's the second time I give you a magic item. Are you going to explain to me what's going on now? I demand answers. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I can a lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. I'm getting a bit scared of him, Thank I'm not gonna lie. For the artifact. <laughs> A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. I... I'm kind of scared. I hope he's not going to... destroy everything around him. Ah, my good fellow! Apparently I can Quite sell things to him. Setup you have here. Or buy things from I'll him. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Uh, never mind. Alright, it's time to set up camp. He'll tell you only after the third time. I sure hope he does, because the uncertainty is making me very uneasy. I want to trust him. He seems like a good fellow, but... Um, I Fear of the unknown, you know? I'm not, her I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh-oh, what is going on? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Oh no. Am I dying? Is 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 the thing finally eating my brain? Oh no. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Oh no. I mean, I can't blame her. I, I don't know what's going on, but it certainly isn't good. And she thinks we're turning, which we might be at this point.
I'll try persuasion. That's probably my best approach. Oh god. She is... That's gonna be hard. 15, huh? Well, let's hope for the best. Yes! We're doing it. Convincing a Githyanki not to end what she perceives to be a, a an illithid in the becoming is, is is quite a feat, I think. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this: I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn. I will end us all. And I believe she means that. Oh my god. What is happening? I came just in time. You are transforming. Who are you? He was there, wasn't he? Yes, you have. I saved you before. Isn't he the, the guy I, I uh, customized at the beginning of the game? He's a magical dwarf. I'm here to save you again. Those are rare. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. How does he do it? I'll protect you. Who is he? <gasps> He's so charismatic. Look at this armor. It looks so cool. As a trip time. <laughs> I believe him. He looks friendly. I did not take any acid, I swear. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. No, 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 no. No, 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 that is not happening. You. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Are you sure about that? That seems like a terrible idea. I do have a, yeah, I have a parasite. That's way worse than any, any sort of acid trip. What is even going on? A fight for the fate of Feyrun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. If you tell me who you are, I might be a bit more inclined to trust you. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Some people are high on acid, some people are Wait high on life. I'm Nothing high on parasite eating my brain. Parasite eating my brain. Oh. I had the weirdest dream, guys. <laughs> I had a dream a magic dwarf told me to use my parasite. How do you guys feel about that? Consuming parasites. What in the world? That sounds gross. Oh no. That sounds repulsive. <coughs> I'm assuming that you're gonna do a parasiteless run. I don't know. I'm very curious. I am very, very curious, but at the same time, scared. 
I'm just trying to do what's best. And I guess we'll see you when the time arises. Hello. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Okay. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Why do I feel like it's he's going to say deep, something absolutely awful? Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. No. No, 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 no. I would like to keep my eye, thank you very much. They don't really affect the story if you consume them, but they do give a shit ton of buffs. I I'd rather I'd rather not know too much about it. Just experience it blind. See what happens. It does I, it does intrigue me though. But I really want to discover it. Uh I'd rather get a second opinion. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. N please don't. I am not losing my eye for this. Especially since I don't think he's going to be able to do it, according to how a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do a paras parasite-less run. I might... I might do, like, specifically... Uh, specific types of runs in the future. For fun. But I'm, I'm just mostly trying to experience the story, do it. No, I'm not taking my eyeball out. That's probably not even going to help. I trust Halson more than this random bard, okay? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> you cannot convince me. I like my eyeballs. I would like them to stay in place. And wear a badass eye patch. Well, when you put it this way, it makes it a bit more enticing, but oh. Uh, I quite enjoy having 3D vision. It's it's a nice thing, you know. <laughs> Death perception. Oh my gosh, the peer pressure. There's too much peer pressure. I might do it. I might not. I might do it. I might not. Oh. I it's probably not even going to help though. What's the point? It's like Oh yeah, take your eyeball out. You'll be able to just wear a cool eye patch. I can already do that without losing my eye, you know. You never know if you're gonna get 4D vision. <laughs> you can peer into the abyss. It's like if you said, hey, chop your arm off. You'll be able to get a cool synthetic arm. How about I just keep my arm? We can go ahead and find what happens. Yeah, you can also f go ahead and find what happens if you stick a needle in your eye in real life, but I don't think you should try. <laughs> I'm not entirely curious to know what's going to happen if I do that. I think it's fairly clear what's going to happen. Oh, man. I agree with Potato. No, stop it. The peer pressure is mounting. Now I have two of you after me. Gosh darn it. Oh, my God. I can't resist anymore. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My 
My research turned up a rather brilliant oh, technique no. that I'm, seems I'm, I'm, I might do it. actionable. I, if I lose my it's eyeball, it's deep. your fault. Just behind the orbital socket, I could attempt an extraction. Yeah, Either DuckTales would definitely agree with you. Without the shadow of a doubt. Oh no. Oh no. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Really? I won't find a more learned opinion? I doubt that! He's a scoundrel! He's gonna get- he's gonna leave with my eyeball and sell it on the black market. Oh god, I'm gonna do it. It's your fault. I blame you. Volo carefully <laughs> holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Oh no! Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeballs. Oh, and I hate this so Volo bad. Frowns and this is you guys' fault. Oh. No! The needle oh, God. soars back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. I don't oh, want to be doing this anymore. Some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. He went to an then accredited online college. Mouth. Yeah, seems he that way. Oh no. Pick. Oh no. One moment. Sorry about that, I'm back. Oh god, I really don't like this. You guys are just enjoying the, the spectacle, aren't you? <laughs> you just want to know what's going to happen. Volo oh no. He brings the ice pick closer to your eye. I'm going to die, no. aren't I? Don't. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Tap, tap. Stab. Ugh. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Oh no! <laughs> Why? He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Why did we do this? What was the purpose of this? <laughs> Why? There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Uh, my eyes are twitching imagining it. I know. Oh my god, my eye hurts in real life because of this. I feel immense psychological pain and it's all your fault. All is well. All is not well! Ugh. You knocked my bloody eye out. Yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Oh no. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were trained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. 
Uh, I can see invisibility. It only cost me my eye, apparently. So, good question mark? <laughs> what in the world was that experience? Permanently see invisibility now. So I have a cyborg eye now. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, this was gruesome. The worst part is I can't even be mad at you guys anymore because we got something out of it. That's rather good, but... Now the other eye. <laughs> and then the arms and the legs. Everything's gotta go. We're gonna become a, an automaton, a machine. Let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna become uh, Theseus's... Wait, is it Theseus's ship? Whoever's ship it is. Oh god. Why? 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 Well, now we can see invisible things. I suppose that's a good thing, right? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go on with the long rest. What? A huge upgrade. I mean, yeah, but... Oh my god. The pain we had to go through. I guess... Don't long rest now. Oh, I'm already done with it? I didn't even use camp supplies. Oh, you're right! All my spell slots are back. Okay, well, thanks for the... Thanks for the advice. Thank you for guiding me... To this excruciatingly painful experience. This was... this was lovely. <laughs> Lovely time was had by all. Oh, all right, well, <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> I'm sure it was your pleasure in more ways than one. I guess, I guess that's the cost of power. Sheer power! Well, if we're going to lose our eyeballs so we can see invisible things, we might as well go the full way and just inject a bunch of parasites directly into our brains for power's sake. Right? That's the, that's the next logical step. Alright, well... The very next step here is going to be to go and fight these uh, goblin leaders, but... It's been three hours already. And I am still sick. My throat really hurts. So I'm gonna stop here for today. But thank you, everyone, for joining me and uh, making me succumb for peer pre to peer pressure for long enough to uh, go through this very interesting experience. <laughs> part of me is glad I listened, but part of me is definitely not. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. You won't even need to cast Sea Invisibility now as a result. That is true. I don't need that anymore. I've got a superpower. Alright, well, I'll be back soon. I'll post the schedule in my Discord and also on Twitter as soon as I have it ready for next week. I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. You guys are so fun to hang out with. And yeah, it'll be useful in later acts. You always get the eye. Uh, I don't want to sit through that again. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye!